Uh, hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. I hope you brought your coffee this time. Um, I, my last video was about making your own tea track. And what makes my tea track unique is if you can make dados and rabbits in your shop, you can make your own tea track. Every video out there that says how to make your own tea track, you have to have the router bit, the T-slot router bit, in order to make the tea track I've not found a video yet that didn't require you to have your own bit. Now, I do have the T-slot router bit here. This one in particular, there's lots of different ones out there. you got to pay attention to your sizes. A lot of them are designed for the quarter-inch bolt, and it uses the hex head bolt as a T-bolt, rather than using the T-bolt. This is for using T-bolts because it's 5 8 inch wide on the lower part of the slot. The other thing about this is you have to pre-cut your deep your, your center slot. Um, it's 5 16 because this is a 5 16 shank. So for this to fit down in there and cut that slot at the bottom, it has to have that 5 16 inch clearance. So you don't have any choice you're going to go a full 5 16 inch wide on your slot instead. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. The quarter inch works very nicely. This is, in fact, this particular one, I did make it from using this. And they do slide nicely. Sawdust is not build up in these. It's usually not a big issue. So it works real well if you can do it this way. Like I said, what I was doing was showing everybody you don't have to buy this bit to get really good working T-slots. You can do it with hardware and uh, scrap wood that you have around the shop. So this is a great way to do it. Don't get me wrong. And maybe I should have mentioned about this. Somebody uh, mentioned it to me. And these aren't so bad. I do like them. And it is a good way to make it. Uh, most of the time, this is what I would do. But there would be occasions where you may not want this. Uh, for example, right here, this is my workbench. The thing is, I put an MDF top on it. I like that MDF top surface. It works real well for me. But you know what? You don't want to put, make your, you don't want to cut a T-track slot in MDF using this. It'll never be strong enough. So I have to either use the aluminum T-track if I'm going to put them in here or I can make my own wood ones and put them in here. Gee, I wonder which one I should do. Anyway, whatever I decide uh, when I do it, I'll let you know. But I think that a wood one would be much nicer looking in this workbench than some old aluminum factory made one. So anyway, you can make them if you want. The T-slot works real well. Depends on what you're doing. Also, remember that your T, your bit... Your T-slot bit will only work on one type of hold-down bolt. Either it'll be this half-inch, like this one does, or it'll be the quarter-inch one. I think they make a 3 8 for a 3 8 bolt, uh, hex bolt also. There's a couple other sizes. Now, they make one that's 1 and a 16th inch wide on the lower slot. And it's like... Um, I think it's still like three eighths of an inch or five sixteenths of an inch on the upper part of the slot. I, so a one sixteenth inch wide lower part of that T slot seems awful wide. I'm not sure why anybody would want one that wide. Uh, if you know what that's for, let me know. But I did see that bit too with the T bolt with the T slot uh, router bits that are out there. So, but just remember. Pay attention to what you're getting so that you know that you can do it with this. But it is a multi-step process to do it this way also. So, is one way faster than the other or better? It just depends on what it is you're doing with it. Um, like I said, I wouldn't use this in MDF, so that's why the wood one will work perfect for this to give me a solution here. But there may be many times when this is all you really need. So... Uh, I hope this helps. I just wanted to bring this up because somebody had brought, Don had brought this up for me and we were talking back and forth a little bit. So I thought I'd kind of clarify this. Um, but you can use these. Just You'll have to have many different ones. And for $30, you can buy 
what, uh, six feet of T-track and you're at the break-even point. But you're still $30 down from making them the way I showed you in the last video. So, anyway, whatever you think about doing it, it is just an alternative. So, if you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, leave them down below. Uh, if you learned something here or you like this video, hit that like button. Most importantly, though, please come back again because I'm nowhere near done. Hmm. Thanks, and we'll see you guys again very soon.